Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing today? This is Dave Boyd coming to you here. This is Lego Star Wars set Imperial Probe Droid. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these in person. Heard about them on uh, YouTube a lot. It's a Lego 18 Plus rather than the UCS packaging. 75306, 683 pieces. Has really nice looking box art. I really, actually, really like the black packaging. Nice view, side view, and of course the schematics here. Nice overview. And we got in universe or from the movie, Empire Strikes Back. This good old hand solo. And of course the pro droid was firing at Chewbacca, who was a you know a decoy, shall we say. Uh, if you noticed, I, I always wondered about it in the movie, in the universe, the antenna labels are very short, and then of course the models, both the Hasbro slash Kenner ones, and of course this one now from Lego, the antenna are very tall. It almost, I mean, when you look at this picture back here, it almost looks like you could use a little, you know, these little uh, shifter things would almost like work as good little antenna. But hey, I digress. Let's get rid of the box. Instruction booklet, nice, thick, and very very colorful it there's a little bit of monotony when you come to building these legs and uh, yeah there's a lot of a little bit of a bit of repetition there's your builder plate viper probe droid just like ucs style this base is interesting and like with mnr productions and a few other people that struck my mind this truly was a lost opportunity to have a very cool either mini build, like a destroyer droid type look, or have an actual, you know, mini figure of this guy here. I think I think that would have been literally awesome. I mean truly, truly, truly. This is one of my favorite characters or whatever you want to call it from from Star Wars. Uh because I was a little kid and watched this in the theater and uh yeah, but the little tools, the legs are quite jointed. Uh, I, I think it's quite, really gives the accurate feel. It does have clear posts here. It is quickly and easily removable. It does not stick in there. It, uh, it just plugs in, plug and play. Um, I think it really gives the overall appearance of the droid. It does have the some slight differences with like yellow lights on this side or the little orange lights. Has it, uh, the tool pieces here. All these are jointed. Um, not very strong model. I think that if you're messing around with this thing, I think you would probably be dropping parts constantly. It certainly did during construction. But like the little detail here, I mean this, you know, piston does retract. Quite a interesting in the, in very, uh, I really appreciate the build, some of the build techniques and some of the way it's been pieced together. It's uh, actually quite, oops, see, we just dropped a leg. Look, he's becoming an amputee. Let's set him over here. Like I said, he's a great display model, but uh, this particular piece right here, I think there might be a better way to attach this because it just drops the same one over and over. Anyways, there we are. The head rotates quite well. I think... If we could have made the top a little bit more of a dome, it would have been better. But uh, either way, really great. Excited to have this set. And uh, hmm. hold the camera here. And just let me know what you think. Um, you can always go and pick one up or your thoughts, comments. Anyways, really appreciate the subscriptions. Really appreciate the community out there, uh, the feedback, the help on some things I've posted up there for curious about. And uh, really want to say a big thank you to everyone. And you all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And uh, until next time, ciao.